all right welcome to uh this um youtube channel and i'm a real estate agent in the state of maryland i'm just going to give you the exact cost or as close to it as possible you probably watched my step-by-step -step video on how to become an agent and um i'll not give you the cost okay if you haven't watched that video i suggest you stop this one check the link down in the description below watch that first because when I give some of these costs, they come by steps, right? So they'll make sense for those that have watched the video on the steps of becoming a real estate agent in Maryland. All right. So the first thing you got to pay is your class. Take pay to take the class. The class varies based on the school you take it with. Normally, anywhere between $250 to about $400. Mine cost me around 300 bucks. All right, so for the purposes of, purposes, of, purposes of this video and to make the addition easy, I'll just say $300, right? So you finish the exam, you gotta take a monthly, I like, sorry, a mock exam, a practice exam. I think that was about $27, but I don't remember now. So I'll just overestimate and say $40, right? So now you have $340. Um, then you got to take the actual exam that is state sponsored or something with the Maryland Real Estate Commission and the PSI group, right? That is about $44 if my memory serves me right. I'll round it up to $50. So now you are in $390 okay we're going to put that 390 separate okay now in selecting a broker this is where it varies i spoke to four brokers one broker was going to charge me 410 dollars on a annual fee on a one-time fee i believe so they charged me 410 dollars um to be uh, partnered with them and then that broker has franchises. That franchise wanted to charge me $299 a month without selling a single house. So just consider that, right? So now you're looking at about $700 or $800 now, right? Somewhere around that. Um, then you got to pay $70 just to register as an agent right then you got to pay twenty dollars to the guarantee fund the guarantee fund is where maryland can compensate customers who had a bad transaction up to fifty thousand dollars that agent needs to reimburse that money or they can no longer practice right sometimes you can reimburse it and still not be allowed to practice but the guarantee fund is almost like a, a security blanket that the state wants to put for transactions up to $50, right? Then you have a an annual 214 ENO insurance fee. ENO is errors and omissions. So in a transaction with contracts, if you make an error or you omit something that costs the customer and they have to reimburse up to a million dollars. So that's like a car insurance. But every April, you got to pay about $214. Um, the broker I went with, they charge you a one-time fee of $250, right? Um, as I mentioned, one of the brokers I interviewed with, they charge a one-time fee of $410. Normally, this is due within your first... 30 or 90 days of signing with that broker now what they don't tell you is you got to pay the board of realtors every october a 900 dollars fee this is in order for you to practice every october so if you become an agent somewhere in i'll give you an instance this is now august the last day in august you got to pay 398 dollars in august then come October, you got to pay $900. So the time in which you become an agent matters. If you start in January, they'll take it down a little bit. Maybe let's say $700 or something. Right? They'll do, do uh, the calculations. And it's not based on the month. I don't know how they prorate or how they calculate it. But 
you need to look into what time you're being an agent that fee that nine hundred dollars is due every october and you got what's called a sentry app which allows you to lock and unlock a lot of lock boxes that is due october 22nd i believe every year it's a hundred and sixty dollar fee based on the month you sign up you might have to pay forty dollars or eighty dollars or a hundred dollars but come october 22nd you got to pay that 160 dollar fee then you need to pay this i believe is an annual fee of bright mls is access to the mls um it's 392 dollars i'm not sure if this is a one-time fee or an annual fee um each office charges you a different fee as far as desk fee or tech fee however they want to call it monthly one that i interviewed with did they had a 299 dollar fee and that came with an office space they got an office manager they got a bookkeeper and they got a receptionist right that sat at the desk my concern with that was when that receptionist picks up the phone of random customers calling that office who does that receptionist give give the leads to? Do they give it to the owner of the business who's a broker and also an agent? Are you as a new agent going to get those calls? You got to consider these things, right? Another um, broker I interviewed with, they charged me a monthly fee of $75. Um, office fee, that's so you can use their printer, use, you know, drink their coffee, things like that. The one that I selected they charge the uh, tech fee of two of uh, 45 dollars right but they also charge me a one-time fee of 250 dollars all right so if i add it all up 250 dollars is the one-time fee and that came with business cards website apps they gave me my own app um email address 24 hour um access to the building don't use the gym but the building has a gym a cafe things like that um i had to pay the 214 dollars eno fee which is due every april so next april i gotta pay that the one-time guarantee fund 20 dollars and the 70 dollars um just to register your license right so that initial fee was $734. You add it with the $900 plus the $160 annual um, century fee, plus the Bright MLS access, $392, and the monthly fee, that total to $2,231. Just to become an agent, you haven't sold a house yet right and some of these fees are monthly that's why most agents quit because when you got to pay a monthly fee over 100 or 200 dollars and you're not selling any houses if you don't have any job any source of income that's why most people quit all right then when you add that 2231 dollars plus the 300 dollars of um class forty dollars for the mock exam fifty dollars for the actual exam the total cost cost me about two thousand six hundred and twenty one dollars all right once again this price may vary some prices are etched in stone the twenty dollars guarantee fund the seventy dollars you got to pay to the commission to, to get registered um registration fee your nine hundred dollar board of realtors annual fee your 160 dollar century app fee those you cannot get around the ones that vary are the eno how much your brokerage charges you for errors and omission how much do they charge you on the one-time fee and how much they charge you on the monthly fee or desk fee or tech fee however they want to call it they charge you a monthly fee also another one that's not like a non-negotiable sometimes are the bright mls um you have to pay to be uh get access to the bright mls some brokers factor that in into their initial fee so they may charge you 410 dollars for instance on their initial fee which gives you access instant access to the bright mls you don't have to pay those separately 
things to consider before beca uh, becoming a broker in the state of Maryland. All right. Well, I hope that works for you. I hope that helps. Um, it cost me about $2,600. Um, it can cost less. It can cost more based on the company you select. Some of these fees are recurring monthly fees. Be very mindful of that. All right. And make sure you click down in the description below on selecting a broker. The video I do on selecting a broker in the state of Maryland. Um, just because of different factors and these different fees and the questions you need to ask these brokers. Not all of them are upfront about all these fees. So be very mindful. So you can ask the right questions when you are interviewing with the broker. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more. Good luck. Hello again. Thank you for listening to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to drop the video a like and subscribe to us if you're new. Drop us a comment and let us know what you think.